Right. Back on the video. Gone very quiet. So it's gone very quiet indeed. Hopefully they'll be alright in there because um the stag's taken off. <coughs> There was more than three before there. There was much, they've all split. They might have even had the stag with them when they first came down there. He might, he's probably come across here, jumped over, and he's probably gone up there now. And they go round and round in circles chasing him. That's what happens. He could be standing perfectly still watching me now. Because that's what they do, they keep dead still. And of course, with all these twigs, blends in. I hope he got away. Thought I heard the quad bike then. They'll probably keep coming back. Those deer better stay huddled there. Yeah, they better stay huddled there. So it's funny, I've lost the... I wonder if that oh, those horses went the other way because um, I haven't seen their tracks. I'm just wondering if they did went up the what came down and went up up there. That's what I'm wondering. Oh, it's boggy this time of year, isn't it? Right, let me see what the time is. What do you reckon? Two o'clock? Eighteen minutes past. That's about right, really. And Jill, she might get back before me because she, uh, she's going for probably up to Big Not a Post. Got all her gear on. So she probably ain't got there yet. I recognise her car. I haven't seen her for a year. It was about a year ago when uh, the stag hunting was on and the sheep were being rounded up, that's right. There must be more than one stag, I wonder. You know, what happens to the other stags then? If um, they've got the scent of one, what happens if they come across another one by accident? Will they chase that one? I don't know the rules really. Anyway, the, uh, going back to the time I was on the hunt, the only time, and I'd never want to do it again, they, it was fox hunting. And they never caught the fox. We did see it, the fox got away. The whole day, they never caught it. No, nope, they never got it. I was glad of that. I was on a horse for eight hours. It was a hell of a long time. You have to take bars of chocolate with you. Right, because of um, what's happened today, I'm carrying on video in and I'm looking out. Of course, the stag will be keeping very still. Um, the, but these hounds are clever, but they reckon they only use two hounds. they got people on walkie-talkies, you see, it's cheating really, isn't it? They've got people on walkie-talkies all over the place saying when they see the stag. Yeah, it's cheating, isn't it? I've heard the stag when it's been chased and I've heard it making this horrible noise last year. It's like a screeching sound. I don't know if they caught it or what, but um, it was a, a very horrible noise I heard. And um, they do shoot them as well. They shoot them as well. You know? They cornered one up by the dog pound near Old Foxton. Apparently the week before. And, um, yeah. See, the, the thing is, I don't know whether the hounds, if there's only two, would have much chance against a stag. And who's going to, who's going to, like, um, climb up in all there? Oh, 
I hope I don't get a tick. The last time I came up here, and I did have to wander off a minute ago to um, cross the stream. So it's, it's one of these coombs. I've got the tick nest on me. About 100 ticks, I reckon, all together. I seen on in a on on the car. Well, they were hiding in a, like an old um, ice bucket. It was really weird. I wonder what it was. I thought the dirt's moving. Somehow I didn't really use it very often. I threw it out. Shit, give me creeps. <sighs> yeah, it's a lovely walk, this. It's going to be about right, you know, me getting back. Um, about three o'clock. Three or past, that's about right, actually. It ain't going to be much earlier or later than what I normally am. But of course, what you've got, you've got to remember, in the back of my mind all the time, is it gets dark earlier, right? I can't remember what time it's dark by, but it could be five o'clock. So they probably haven't got much longer. Like I said, I haven't seen. I don't reckon those horses came this way. There's no sign of any horse hoofs. Huh. I reckon they turned up back there. Joined up with them on the hill, because I did see some on the hill. So I don't reckon they came down here at all. I thought I did hear a lot of noise down here. I heard the dogs for quite a while. It sounded to me like they were really on, like they found him, to be quite honest, because of the noise. A lot of noise for two dogs, I thought. Yeah, there could be more than one little set hiding up there. My eye's very good at catching movement though. And I found them, and I knew I'd seen them. I knew I'd seen that little family. Imagine that. Later on, and the, and the stag don't come back. Isn't it horrible? There don't seem to be that many stags about. To be quite honest, I've been looking out for them for months. Don't look like there's about a dozen or a dozen of Right, time for another rest. Back to the Fords. Back to the Fords. Very, very busy. Yeah. Yeah, on the way back to Alberta now. So it's been a lovely autumn day, but sort of um I didn't no, I would bump into a hunt. Exactly. So I've been going all over the place. Hopefully those deer that are hiding there will be safe now. I don't know if the hunt's finished. They might have done it and all gone. Could have, could have, could have gone. So here we are once again, folks. Here's my shadow, me and my shadow, walking down the avenue. Yeah, the next time I come out, it'll be December. So once a month I'm coming out now. So we'll see, even starkness. Probably no brown leaves. Um, and uh, like I said, I, I don't really know if they came this way. To be quite honest, I think they probably went above me back there. I think that's what they've done, those uh, 
horsemen, huntsmen, because there's no huge evidence of anyone being down here, is there? Just going to turn off a minute, take some photos again for a minute. 